Hello my beautiful hammerheads and welcome back to Black Library Reviews Part 8 Vintage A Short Story Written by David Annandale So this story is about this lovely vampire lady Anasta Malkorion Probably more about the fear a certain free guild a soldier has about her because it says a lowly warrior recounts the tale of his childhood run in with a vampire who haunts his dreams to this day. It's a nice short story, doesn't tell us much about Anasta herself and more of the fear the people have about her. So the main protagonist's name is Ulior Arkand. He's, as I've said, a free guild soldier accompanied by some Stormcast Eternals who leave him and his soldiers behind on in a keep to protect the roads between two cities. And of course this is the city, uh, the keep from which he came from as a child which was devastated by Anasta herself and it just recounts his horror and his pain about this place and how he wishes to be a Stormcast Eternal so that he might live without fear in his life because he sees them these greater than life soldiers and demigods fighting against the enemies of Sigma. But as they leave him behind he is left with his fear and how this manifests with insomnia and his soldiers are just saying that you need to sleep, you are lacking, the people are losing trust in you. So it's a nice short story, it's not the best read David Annandale has ever written, but I like the ending, uh, the, so the conclusion is a nice one. Uh, not so much for Ulio himself, but um, for us the readers. It's a nice short horror story. From the scale of burn it to devour it, I will give it a read it if you are a vampire fan. Otherwise, as always, read the sample, see if you like it, so you can decide for yourself. So, what are your thoughts about short story reviews? Are they worth it? Or should I change something in this review style for short stories? Because as they are short stories, there isn't much to talk about, but they can be nice. And there is one I want to talk about soon, which has definitely some ramifications for the future of Age of Sigma. Like with the short story, The Armor of Fate in 40k, in which it was already known that the Silent King, or now we know that it's the Silent King from the Necrons, but uh, we had some thoughts about uh, what the great teased enemy could be. So, yeah, please let me know in the comment section down below. I am keen to know what you have to say. And while you're down there, do all the YouTube stuff because hitting buttons is fun. So, have a great day my friend, stay fantastic, stay hydrated and I will see you in the next video.